Hi everyone and welcome back. So just a quick note, this video is the third part of a three part series of videos where I do show you how to set up Cozy Voice by Fun Audio LLM. And if you haven't taken a look at the first two videos, I'm going to drop the link to those in this video description. So I advise you do take a look at them. But if you do not want to do that and you still want to follow along this video, um, you can check out the Hogan face page, which I'm going to drop the link also in, the, in this video description. And you can check out the Hogan face page for this particular model and you can see all the blocks of code that we are going to be using. So let's move on. So working with the instruct model is a bit different from the rest of them because it accepts an input text and it also accepts a speaker ID and then it accepts a prompt. So that's just the three inputs it actually takes in. And for the input text, you, you can see it actually supports this laughter strong i think if you wanted to emphasize more on a particular word it's you can actually enclose it in the strong tag and then laughter and breath so it actually supports this and for the prompts it's basically like prompting an llm where you would describe whatever you want and in this case it's saying teal crimson is a very passionate rebel leader fights with fervor for justice but struggles with impulsiveness so that's just describing that particular speaker and at the end of the day whatever you pass in here it will just make it come to life basically and it will give you the um something like a close representation of how somebody like that would actually say these words using this speaker id so let's actually try it out let me get this so first of all, I'm going to change this to clone because that's what it's actually doing. And I'm going to create a new function here. I'm going to call it, um, let's say, so let's take this up here. So let's pass in a prompt and this time let's give the character a male name. Let's call him Let's just say this crap. John is a passionate software developer and a public speaker that plans on changing the world with tech, just like everybody else, basically. And we're going to pass in the text here. Hello, dear. How are you doing? It's fine towards the evening. My name is Austin Brain, blah, blah, blah. So let's go to the function. So all it's doing here is taking in a text, a speaker ID, and also a prompt. So basically all you're doing is selecting this particular voice for your speaker, and you're describing how you want the speaker to say whatever you've passed in here. So you're just going to describe it in the prompt, but the text is the main thing. The text is where you're going to pass in uh, whatever text, whatever thing you want this particular voice to actually say or this particular speaker to actually say. So it's really, really straightforward. So this particular model will give you a little bit of latitude when it comes to how emotive you want this particular speaker to sound. That's just basically it because it actually supports these tags. So it really helps a lot if you do want it to be more emotive and you want to describe how the speaker is actually speaking of who that speaker is so you give it more context so when it's generating the voice it generates it in a certain way so for this our first test what we're doing here is saying john is a passionate software developer and a public speaker that plans on changing the world with tech so this word passionate is i think that's what it's going to take up and at the end of the day when he's actually speaking he will speak in that particular tone so let's run it and see if we are actually correct hello there how are you doing this fine Thursday evening? My name is Austin Brain. What is your name? 
Okay, um, now as you can hear that, that actually sounds really passionate. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this so it doesn't actually get to replace this particular audio. So you can actually play them again and so you hear how it actually sounds. So I'm going to change this to calm. So I rename this to instruct underscore zero one instead of instruct underscore zero. So once it actually creates this new one with this particular prompt, we are going to play both of them and see if there's any difference on how it actually sounds. Hello there. How are you doing this fine Thursday evening? My name is Austin Brain. What is your name? Okay. Now let's go over to our finder and we're going to play both of them and see how it actually sounds. So these are the two of them. And let's play this. Hello there. How are you doing this fine Thursday evening? My name is Austin Brain. What is your name? So this is the calm, the one we just did right now. Hello there. How are you doing this fine Thursday evening? My name is Austin Brain. What is your name? And as you can see, they both sound quite different. And what we just did right now is called speaker identity control, where we pass in a prompt, which is a brief description of that particular speaker. And it's quite different from what we're going to do next. What we're going to do next is style control, where we would give it prompts like um, normal pitch or high pitch or speaking at fast rates, things like that just to uh, control the style and the tone of um, the speaker. That's just basically what we're going to do now. And and I've changed the prompt. I've actually switched out the prompt for a new one. And let's go back to the code. So what we have here is a male speaker with high pitch. As you can see, this is a key. These are the keywords. You can describe it however you want, but the main thing is to just control the style. And you can make a mixture of both the speaker control and also the style control. It doesn't really matter. It's just a prompt. Best you just have to be really descriptive. And as you must have noticed, the instruct model has a lot to do with how good you are at prompting. Yeah, that's just the main thing because you can do uh, speaker identity control. You can also do style control, and you can pass this in. And if we run this, let's run it. Hello there. How are you doing this fine Thursday evening? My name is Austin Brain. What is your name? Okay, uh, as you can see, it was actually a male speaker. And if we change this to a female speaker with high pitch and we run it again, you're going to see it's going to change to a female speaker and what's the pitch and everything would actually remain the same. Hello there. How are you doing this fine Thursday evening? My name is Austin Brain. What is your name? Okay, uh, as so you can actually hear, uh, that's a female voice. And just like that, you can play around with this however you want. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use those tags we talked about, the laughter, laughter tag, the strong tag, and also the breath. Um, I, I don't know if that's a tag because it's, it's in a square bracket. So that's what we're going to do right now. Let's add in the laughter tag. We're going to add these tags for more fine grain controls. So let's... Make sure you close it off. So the next thing we're going to add is breath. It's not really a tag person uses square brackets. Now we can also add laughter in square brackets. Yeah, you could actually do this and you could also use a strong tag. So that's basically up to you. But for this particular test, this is what I'm going to be doing. And let's hear how it actually sounds. Hello there. How are you doing this fine Thursday evening? My name is Austin Brain. <laughs> what is your name? So as you can see, it didn't actually recognize any of the tags. So what we're going to do right now is remove this description of the style. We're going to take off the prompt that does the style control. And let's run this again. Hello there. How are you doing this fine Thursday evening? My name is Austin Brain. <laughs> what is your name? So, like you heard, it actually recognized all the tags, which is really cool. And you can just keep on, you can try and retry. I think it's because of the style control. 
and i think that's something that happens when you actually add in style control in your prompt or you make your prompt really long or something i, I think it's more about the prompts that's why it actually failed so for my final thoughts on cozy voice i do think that if you want to integrate this into your ai system to to narrate um, speech it's best to use the supervised fine tune model so you just choose a speaker id and it will just be consistent and it will really run way faster than using the base model to clone or using the uh, instruct model uh, because the instruct model basically is, i think is best suited for those of you that want to generate voiceovers for your youtube shorts or whatever video you want to generate voiceovers for it's definitely up to you you can play around with the instruct model the instruct model requires um a good knowledge on prompting um you should really know how to prompt especially using your style control and also giving the speaker some kind of an identity um would be really really useful so um that's gonna be it for this particular video and since this is the final video um all i can say is make sure you do like share subscribe um it really helps a lot especially as we strive to get to our first 1000 subscribers thank you for watching and have a nice one